In speeches and essays, Douglas talks about the daguerreotype developed in the 1840s as one of the central modern marvels of the day, as important as, say, the telegraph, for its ability to capture a reality unfiltered. And so Douglas saw in photography a way to show African descended people as they were in all their beauty. Douglas recognized the degree to which representation itself could be a powerful mechanism for ending slavery, for achieving universal freedom and equality. And throughout his life, Douglas recognized the power of the image. We now understand that Frederick Douglass is the most photographed American man in the 19th century. Not African-American man, but American man. He consciously put himself in front of the camera because he understood the democratic power of that new technological medium. Frederick Douglass was obsessed with the way that black people were stereotyped, that they were made to look stupid, they were made to look savage. So he became preoccupied with how he looked. And you look at the images themselves, and you see that he's up to something. It's, it's presenting himself in this particular way. He is serious, he's engaged, he's really smart. He understood the way in which his embodied form, self-possessed, dignified, masterful, could create a weapon to counter the sea of racist stereotypes that surrounded Douglas and everyone in the disunited states at that time. Frederick said, when you look at a photograph of me, you're never going to deny that I'm a man worthy of freedom and citizenship. You're going to look me in the eye and see my humanity. You can see in his gaze that he's not afraid of the camera. He's able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the camera. He's able to hold his gaze. He commands your attention. And Douglas is extraordinarily handsome, no matter what uh, vantage point you want to use, <laughs> whatever standard of beauty you've got, Douglas gives it to you. Douglas was meticulous in how he himself photographed. He was always dressed to the hilt. He was always intent on his particular, so how he would be posed. The head-on daguerreotype of Douglas with those that piercing gaze, right, was important. The central question of the day for Frederick Douglass was, by what right does anyone have to own another human being? So when you're looking at Frederick Douglass in a photograph, you're seeing insistent self-possession. You're seeing a refutation of the very idea that slavery could even be possible. <laughs> 